All right. Downstairs, the truck is in the paint booth, the 1966 Chevy Suburban. And three days ago, only three days ago, I ordered new shoes for this bad boy. We wanted to stay old school, and uh, but yet new. So what's on there are 15 inch rally wheels. We jumped up to 18 inch rally wheels. They are not the stock style, but they are a rally wheel. A little bit concerned, this just came off of the UPS box. And as you can see, beat up a little bit. I want to make sure well, I already have a problem. The center cones aren't with them. Maybe they're in one of the boxes. I hope so. Maybe it's inside there. How do you know it's not in there? Oh. These are gonna be awesome. And the truck is a wool gray. It's, this is a gray, it's not a perfect match. But this is, this will look nice next to the truck. But this whole set of wheels was literally less than $600 delivered to my doorstep. Awesome price. If I would have dropped down to 15 inch, which is stock, they would have been less than $400. But looks great, just missing the caps. I need the caps. This box wasn't even. Like, seriously. Wasn't even taped shut. I mean, thank God you know they're what? not. That one was. I should probably look at this one better. Yeah, there's a nick right there. But it's on the inside. We should be okay. It's really important to inspect them the day that you get them because after that you will own them and if you ever mount the tires to these and then they don't fit you will own them <laughs> these are these are uh, 18 inch wide or 18 inch wheels 10 inches wide so they're wider than what is stock also we want to put a deeper wheel on them. Oh, awesome. Good shape. So far, so good. Packaging left a little be desired. Yeah. Because they just popped right open when I... This one, yeah. This one wasn't even taped. When I lifted it. So we're good too. This is damaged. Yeah, These have been. Looks like they've been mounted. Yeah, something's. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, right here too. Oh no, that's plastic. plastic. Thank goodness. But that's. Oh, cool. Those will be nice. The gray is a different gray, but I think it's gonna be good enough. Those are sweet. The center caps were supposed to be part of it. They're not here. Oh, those are 18s? Yeah. They almost look bigger. I know. <laughs> yeah, they're 18s and they're, they're uh, nine deep. This is a company that is out of the Chicago area. And I was actually pretty reserved. The price was the best price on the internet for this exact wheel. They had 70, they had 100. Reviews? 100 reviews okay, last month. Okay, just guessing. Month. I know. <laughs> they had 100 reviews last month. 27 of them were bad. So, you know, almost a third of their reviews were negative. Ooh. Almost a third of their reviews were negative, and most of them were about shipping. All right, this one's clean. So yeah, they're gonna be awesome on this rig. They're still old school, but yet brand new. 
18 inch versus 15 inch, these things are gonna look awesome. And the, and the center caps literally come out and they're, they're just an awesome, awesome look. So, have to give them a call, tell them that the center caps are missing and two out of the four are damaged. Send them pictures of that. Anyway, good review on shipping, time, packaging, eh. And then uh, we'll see how they mount up, how they balance out. Okay, Zach and Tyler finished up the bottom. So this is the wool gray. The top is black. This is the second step of doing a two-stone uh, paint job. Now this will be peeled off and then they will clear coat the entire thing. And they are both gonna be in the booth painting at the same time with the clear coat because of the challenge that comes with a vehicle of this size. If you do the top at two different times, you end up with a lot of dry spray. So they're doing a phenomenal job. This thing's gonna look awesome. Excited. said, holy shit, huh? Yeah. It's awesome. Okay, I am so happy right now. Today started at 6.30 in the morning. Tyler and Zach were both in the paint booth prepping this vehicle for the two-tone paint job. Yesterday they did the black late in the day, finished at 4.30. Today, taped everything off for the two-tone, painted the wool gray, and did the clear. They literally just walked out of the building, started at 6.30, it's five o'clock at night. They did an awesome job, and the paint combination, <laughs> I love it. Even with the red inside, it's just gonna pop. Now, the side windows, on the doors and the sides, we're gonna have dark, dark limo tint, probably 5%, maybe 10%, but it's gonna be dark. And this is just with the black, it's gonna just stand out perfect. It's just gonna be a beautiful, beautiful truck. I'm excited. When we first took this from a daily driver with the old school scallops to this, I was concerned because you don't know exactly what it's gonna turn out like. 
I knew it was going in the right direction, but now love it. Just love it. This thing's gonna be awesome. All right, day after paint. Guys are prepping for spraying floor liner up front. That will help with sound. It will protect all of the rust repair work that we did. So all of that will be sprayed. They're roughing it up so it sticks. Are you filming? Did you already hit s sneaking you up on me? Sneaking up on me? Yeah. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's terrible. Anyway, she caught me looking at this badass legendary truck. The guys have been working hard on it. Tyler, Zach. I mean, Ethan, myself, my wife Kathy. Just I'm looking at this thing and literally in a month's time it went from our daily driver that somebody could go out not spend a boatload of money and beat the hell out of it yes there was some patches in the floor there the, the rust was cut out patches were put in it was a sound vehicle brand new brakes brand new a lot of stuff great driver and in one month's time, it's just turned into this beautiful, beautiful truck. And I'm standing back, kind of very, very proud of my guys. I mean, I am blessed to have them. They are a great team. And just the turnaround on this is beautiful. Do I wish it was faster? Hell yes. Everybody wishes it was faster. But am I disappointed? Not in what's seeing this here. This is just, this is going to be a badass legendary truck. And whoever ends up either buying it or winning it, if we can organize that correctly, is just going to thoroughly enjoy this bad boy. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this build because I am. <laughs> <laughs>